So if y'all saw my earlier video, it was a piece done by Anton uh, Garashenko that talked about Vladimir Solovoyev and his constant drumbeat of war as a complete war hawk, imploring young people to go to the front lines, to sign up, to fight for Mother Russia because this is an ex existential fight against NATO, not a bully in Russia attacking Ukraine. He says that this is a jihad, that this is a holy war, that the West is depraved and full of a bunch of homosexuals and a bunch of disgusting perverts and that's who they're fighting against along with the nazis along with the satanists well western media picked up on anton garashenko's uh his little piece on vladimir solovoyev saying that his sons daniel and ivan who are 21 and 34 are not on the front lines themselves so where's the hypocrisy there how can you say that he that how can Solovoyev say that these young people need to be at the front line, but his own sons aren't there? Is he is he being hypocritical to the cause? Well, we all know the reality. He wants other poor young people to go fight, not his own family. That's how that operates, and it's it's just kind of the way Russia has operated this whole war. You you notice that the majority of the fighters going on the front line, the conscripts, are not from Moscow and they're not from St. Petersburg. That's because it's politically dangerous to send people in the cities who have a voice, who have access to internet, who have an access have access to large population centers to start problems. They're usually from the rural poor, like places in the Ural Mountains, etc. Well. Western media wasn't having it. And in fact, it got pushed into the Russian media and the Russian media kind of started picking up on it. And it pisses Vladimir Solovoyev off that they aren't, they don't seem to be on the same page. Well, the reality is, is a lot of media in Russia may fall in line with the Kremlin by force, but they would call out the hypocrisy of people that are kind of on the outskirts of the Kremlin's realm of influence, such as Vladimir Solovoyev himself. Now, Solovoyev has received medals from, from Vladimir Putin, and he, ha he is one of the biggest propagandists in the uh, Russian media apparatus. But the reality is he is not in the inner circle. So people aren't as afraid of Solovoyev as they are of bad-mouthing the Kremlin and, you know, like Shoigu's kids or... Uh, Putin himself, etc. So they internal in Ru internally in Russia, they went after him a little bit for the hypocrisy. And he addresses this here, uh, trying to explain away why his kids aren't on the front line, specifically his 21 year old son, Daniil. So he says here that his son is studying in Moscow. In, in reality, the media has pinpointed him in London quite a few times during this war. Now, he may be in Moscow now as we speak, but um, last year he was in London in, in many photo shoots because he's, uh, he's like a magazine model, basically, in London. He doesn't live a hard life. I'm not sure what comments he's referring to when it comes to phrases like Solovoy of Sun made comments. Um, I've heard rumors through Telegram that his older son, Ivan, has expressed privately and it's been overheard that he is not a fan of the war in Ukraine. Obviously, he can't come out and say that given who his father is, but that's all rumor and I'm not entirely sure. So I don't think that, that may be what Vladimir Solovoyev here is referring to. But again, I'm not sure. А если бы журналисты были настоящие, они бы и сказали, если... So when he talks about CIPSO, it's Centralized Information Psychological Operations, he's saying that this is a military psyop being conducted against him. He's so important and big and bad in Russia that it is a psyop that they're conducting against him. Now, that might be true that he's important enough to conduct a psyop, but it's not real hard to conduct psychological operations when the operations are reflecting the truth. 
I mean, his son has been pinpointed in London. His son ha is a model in London. His son has worked in London and even was working in London during the war, even during the conscription. So the reality is it's not difficult to, it's not a psyop really when you're telling the truth as a journalist. That's just the truth and it's journalism. And he, But he has to spin it in a way to make it look like he's being attacked because it's a psyop. Это есть агентство, его бы адрес привели в Англии, лондонское. Сказали бы, какой контракт, где находится. Но ведь наши не умеют заниматься журналистикой. Наши, сволочи мной названные, извинения которых не будут признаны никогда. Они же умеют только распространять цепсошную ложь. Поэтому твари вы продажные. It's very weird. He attacks Russian journalists, calling them filthy bastards. And he's a part of that apparatus. He's a part of that media apparatus. He actually directs, along with many other propagandists, such as the head of Russian television and, and others, the very stories that get published. And when, like I said, these stories don't get past Solovoyev's uh, muster, this is what you get from him. Journalists. Мерзкие, конченые твари. А хотите узнать, что почем? А выезжайте со мной на передовую. Я там уже под 40 дней провел. И когда вы мне начинаете тыкать, патриот я или нет, когда какая-то дешевая дура говорит, а как вам верить, у вас такой сын? У меня хорошие дети. А ты тварь нацистская. Не мне тут пытайся писать. А как-нибудь со мной съезди. Посмотри, чем я занимаюсь. Где я нахожусь? И с ребятами поговори. Там на передовой. Как они реагируют на то, что я приезжаю с моими друзьями? He's defending himself when he needs to be defending the fact that he is hypocritically calling for young people to go to the front line. He went to the front line supposedly. Now the images of him were with unit formations which absolutely should not be on the front line the last thing you want to do is hold a formation on the front line because that's a quick way to get an artillery strike on top of you but it may have happened they are that dumb in russia and so that may have been the case but i doubt he was on the actual front line he was probably in some forward operating base that was supporting the front line where he got great photo ops and i've shown those videos as well anyways so the crazy thing about this is he he is such a hypocrite that he's made absolutely transphobic and homophobic comments about the depravity and the perversions of the West. And both of his sons, his other son, Yvonne, lived in London as well. He worked for an advertising agency. This man even said that they should attack, a, attack London. Now, the way someone lives their lifestyle is perfectly fine with me. I have no qualms with how you live your lifestyle. What I have problems with is the hypocrisy that comes. So I want to show you something. So this is his son, Daniil, the 21-year-old model. Tattooed fingers, rings, painted fingernails, etc. When he referred to the fact that people were saying, how is your son like this? This is what they're referring to. He is not the picturesque model of conservative Russia. And you know what else isn't? This image right here. Because that is also Daniil. Dressed up in drag. Again, I have no problems with this. It is Vladimir Solovoyev that has issues with stuff like this. And when he comes on his television program and talks about how Russia won't tolerate homosexuality, won't tolerate trans culture, he is clearly not talking about his own son. Because this is how his son dresses up and people in Russia are picking it up and picking up the hypocrisy and they kind of attacked Solovoyev and now he lost his mind and had felt he needed to defend himself as a father and his son for whatever choices he's made. So this kid, this 21 year old kid probably would be better off in London at this point if this is how he wants to live his life, which is perfectly fine. So just uh, saw that response and wanted to put it out there for everyone.